Hello boys and girls, it's Dave. I couldn't find a video online so I did it myself and I had the problem that I had only 60 to max 80 frames in Battlefield 5 and that's shit, really, I couldn't play. It didn't make, make any fun and um, yeah. So I searched for a solution and I found one. Now I have 100 to 120 frames, 130 sometimes. And yeah, at first we need to go to the options and I would I will not describe you what it does, I will only show you because that would take too long and you can see it on other YouTubers. Um, so these are my settings. If you put down the resolution you will get more frames but the game will look um, worse. But if you want more frames put the resolution down. Um, yeah, these are my, o my other settings. You can stop and copy it if you want. And yeah, mm, DX12 you need to look if you need it. And future frame rendering gives me a um, FPS boost from 10 to 20 frames. So it's good for me and I don't have an input lag but you need to look for yourself if it works and if you have an input lag because if you have one you need to look if it's good for you if you want more frames and input lag or less frames and no input lag so that's it for the game you don't need more in the game the most part is now outside the game so let's go outside the game so there are two things we need to do we need to go to the NVIDIA um, settings if you don't have NVIDIA you need to look in the internet what you can do with your uh, graphic setting program. Um, so you go on 3D settings, then program settings, then you take Battlefield 5 and I did this. You can copy it, try it. Um, yeah, I will, I will put it in in the description in English because this is in German and most of you will not understand it but you can it's so it's it's yeah if you maybe it's the same um order then you can copy it so that's what I did uh I don't know Maybe one. One's the lowest. Uh, I put it to one. Uh, that's. I did it. Um. Not on purpose. But I think it makes no difference. Because I have no virtual reality. Um. Yeah. I think. That's it. And. The other thing you need to do is. Over here. Desktop positioning and size I think um yeah so you need to click here otherwise it will not work and then you need to click this button because if you then lower your resolution your um your um picture will still look good if you don't have it on I, I accidentally didn't have it on and Oh my god, looked so bad. Really, really bad. So that makes sense if you want to lower your resolution. And this is now the last part. You need to go to the... Um, where Battlefield 5 is installed. And then you do this. You have an user.cfg. So you need to create it. I use Notepad++. You can download it for free. And... Yeah. So this can work. This can go away. I have it from the side. It works fine. Um, and then you just copy this. So um, some things are from um, my Battlefield 4 um, CFG. So I just copied it and saved it. I don't know. I don't know exactly what it does, but it gives me. A 
a boost and that matters and it does nothing bad you can just copy it so you you make to to do it you just copy it I will put it in the description then you make a new one then you paste it then you say um, save under then you search in your PC for battlefield so origin right with origin origin games are there battlefield 5 user.cfg you, you just have to call it user.cfg normal text file yes and now it is safe so and yes so and that's it you can try it I hope I could help you I hope now you have more frames because it's shit to play with no frames um, or less frames than normal because in Battlefield 4 I had 200 constantly and in Battlefield 1 150 and now it's okay 200 uh, 100 to 120 is okay so have a nice day thanks for watching and if I could help you or if I could not help you write it in the comments and I will have a look see you bye